Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes on this beautiful start to the new week. Uh, we've got uh, plenty of sunshine uh, across the northeast. You can see all this lovely dry air. What's left of it is still hanging on. And the old frontal boundary uh, is a little further south uh, today. And uh, we've got clouds in the southeast that extend out across the Carolinas and uh, out further into the open waters of the Atlantic. The bottom part of this, by the way, has emerged into the Gulf of Mexico. The Hurricane Center talks about this. And this is one of these systems that is more uh, stronger aloft uh, than it is down uh, at the low levels of the atmosphere. Uh, it, it may sit here all week long. Uh, it would need that time to become more of a warm core system, but something they'll be watching as we go through this coming week. Meanwhile, uh, to the northwest, we've got a cold front, uh, and we know about those because we've had so many of them pass through here uh, in the last month, and that is moving eastward. That's going to open up some possibilities for later tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, the radar is nice and quiet. As of 11 a.m. Eastern time, we've got nothing going on in the northeast and mid-Atlantic states, and even uh, in the southeast, at least for now, uh, there's no shower and thunderstorm activity, though it's likely to bubble up there later today you can see the uh, activity is mostly offshore in the gulf of mexico and then the cold front generated showers and thunderstorms are beginning to move uh into the western part of the uh, great lakes and those will continue to move eastward the risk area today for the storm prediction center northeastern illinois to southern michigan uh, including chicago and detroit uh, and uh, indianapolis all in that uh, slight risk zone uh, it is uh, mostly wind uh, uh, with uh, respect to this, uh, 2% tornado risk in the slight risk area. And then as we look at, at tomorrow, the Storm Prediction Center has kind of ex pushed that slight, well, they haven't kind of pushed it, they actually have pushed it eastward uh, into western Massachusetts, northwestern Connecticut to just west of New York City. Uh, so basically, if you draw a line from Washington uh, to Baltimore to Philadelphia to New York City, to probably uh, Springfield, Massachusetts. From there, north and west, we've got a slight risk. And there's a narrow, narrow area there of 2% tornado risk. It's going to be another one of these types of situations, folks, where the risk is there for some stronger thunderstorms late in the afternoon and into the evening. Lower risk right along the immediate coast. We'll see if they materialize or not. Uh, lately, these uh, cold fronts in the northeast have tended to underperform, even though the risk area has been pretty obvious. So just bear that in mind uh, for Tuesday, because it's going to be a hot day, and you probably want to be, if, if you're not working, you're probably going to want to be at the pool or at the shore. Rainfall amounts, again, mostly uh, an inch and a half to two and a half inches in the coastal Carolina, in coastal North Carolina, much of South Carolina and Georgia, and then right along the Gulf states, we're looking at uh, three to five inches or more of rain during the next week. Here in the mid northern mid-Atlantic into southern New England, it's mostly on the order of a half an inch or less, but we do have some patches uh, that the Weather Prediction Center is indicating uh, for parts of southeastern Pennsylvania, parts of uh, north central New Jersey, where we're seeing maybe three quarters of an inch to as much as an inch. That's all convectively driven. So you, know, you, you take your chances as far as where you put the max precip areas, and then you watch to see how it plays out on the radar. Also some higher amounts well up into upstate New York and into northern New England and still getting some monsoonal rains down in the southwest. Uh, as far as temperatures are concerned, just want to take a look here. Now, for today, uh, it's uh, going to be a warm day, middle to upper 80s from northeast Virginia to southern New England. The d temperatures are actually still going to wind up being lower as you go south because of cloud cover. Uh, the dew points are going to be mostly in the mid to upper 50s today, so it'll be reasonably comfortable. Tuesday, it's a different story. Dew points are going to be shooting up well into the 60s to around 70. And the temperatures will be moving up. We'll be in the upper 80s and lower 90s for the highs on Tuesday. And uh, the temperatures for Wednesday will still be on the hot side, even though the front will have pretty much passed offshore with a west and northwest wind. Uh, we should also warm up to upper 80s to around or just over 90 degrees for Wednesday. Then we're going to turn it down a notch for Thursday middle to some upper 80s, cooler as you go northwest uh, up into upstate New York and into northern Pennsylvania. And for Friday at the end of the week, and both Thursday and Friday should be less humid, not 
as dry as what we've seen uh, on, on Sunday, for example. But it'll be dry enough where it'll be reasonably comfortable with temperatures on Friday, mostly in the middle 80s for highs. And then we're going to warm up as we go through the weekend. Another one of these strong upper troughs dry, dropping southeastward. Uh, you can see uh, here the uh, jet stream pattern. Uh, here's another uh, shortwave trough. It's got some I uh, identity to it. It's got that slightly, you know, that sort of V shape. So it gives you an idea that there is uh, a little, a little uh, power to it as it goes on through. So that's why we have the severe weather risk. And as we move through the rest of the week, we still see this troughing in the eastern part of the U.S. If you just simply follow the flow of air, uh, it, uh, it's basically coming down out of uh, northeastern Canada and into the northeast. The uh, big heat ridge is actually moving a little bit further to the west into the southwestern part of the United States. And as far as the overall pattern is concerned, really not much change. Probably another trough that drops into the east a week or one early next week. Uh, and then that lifts out and then yet another trough uh, as we uh, move through the latter part of next week. And the, the troughing continues to hold on to the eastern part of the United States right to, for the next two weeks. The heat ridge uh, moves back out to the west, uh, which uh, means that prolonged periods of 90 degree temperatures are just not in the cards so we'll play it through for tomorrow let's use uh we'll use the nam model uh the new one is done so we should uh, be able to see what it has as far as an idea of uh, how these thunderstorms are going to play out and uh, here we go we'll just pop it up over there and you'll see obviously no issues today uh, with showers or storms. So here comes the front for Tuesday. This is Tuesday morning at uh, 8 a.m. Uh, there'll probably be some, maybe a couple of scattered renegade cells well ahead of the main front, which comes through sometime Tuesday late afternoon and evening. This is at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, then it jumps 3 hours to 11, and then to 2 a.m. Uh, really, the models are not doing all that much with these showers and storms but again a lot of times the models don't handle these things very well so just identifying the risk and knowing it's there is what's important and then as we move into wednesday and thursday uh, a couple of uh, uh, little weak systems could move through uh, maybe an isolated storm on wednesday not really looking for very much there <clears throat> then it's a little less humid for thursday and friday and then we warm up and turn more humid for Saturday and Sunday. Although I think the weekend we may get away with not seeing much of anything other than a scattered shower or thunderstorm on Saturday and Sunday. And then a cold front is going to try to come through here sometime next Monday. Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight at 730 Eastern Time. We hope to see you then.